Hey guys, welcome back to Bella Blue's Lunches. If you're new, welcome. My name is Amy. We do a lot of food related videos on this channel. So if you like to eat, you should subscribe and then hit that notification button wherever it is because I promise you, if you don't, you won't find us again. Today, I'm answering all of your questions. I have a feeling this is gonna lead to a part two because I've already answered a lot of these questions and then in editing, I deleted clips that I should not have deleted. And so here I am. I was really mad a few hours ago, but I've calmed down and I just decided, let's just refilm it. Who cares? Just refilm it. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I will put the questions up right here in this nice empty blank space. <laughs> and let's just get into the questions. My aunt is a single parent and her son is very against dating someone new. She's not looking for another per partner. Does Bella mind you meeting someone new or does she not like it? Okay, I'll answer that part first. She does not like the idea of it uh, at all. In fact, anytime I've dated anybody, I wouldn't say dated, I don't know what dating is. Um, like we've gone out on dates, I suppose. We did it like while she was at school. So she would go to school, I would go meet him for breakfast or go meet him for lunch or maybe she would go and sleep over at my parents house or one of my siblings houses then i would say hey are you available tonight because bella's gone so we can do something uh it's never gotten to the point where i thought it was serious enough for bella to meet him um and he was always aware i i'm not gonna say how many because it doesn't matter. But they were all aware that I was a mom and I've dated dads and I've also dated not dads. <laughs> I don't know what you call them. Just guys, I guess. And yeah, Bella has met none and she is not interested in me dating anyone. So we just don't even talk about it. We joke about it. Like when she goes to hockey, I'll say, hey, do you see anybody out there that you'd want to be your brother? <laughs> Do they have dads that are single? And she's like, stop, mom. Just stop it. But, you know. Anyway, do you have somebody that you would like to introduce me to? Okay. Um, What can you do to help them be more comfortable with a new relationship? I have no idea because I have not gotten to that point yet at all. So, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know what I'm going to do. All I know is right now, she is a hard no on her mom dating. Kelsey Cridge, I hope I'm saying her name right. That the other one was from Ava X. Okay, so Kelsey says, what was your reaction when you found out about Bella's speech and what speech condition does she have? Um, I don't know. I don't know that it has a name. It, she just struggles with certain sounds on the letters. Uh, it kind of all coincides with sensory processing disorder. So she has shortened down SPD and that is where your senses are a little bit different. So a lot of times with that, you will have speech issues. And yeah, so I don't know. It wasn't anything that I ever like found out. I had al always kind of noticed it, I guess, from when she had first started talking, I had noticed that her words, like she would say hurt, but she would pronounce it who it. And I knew who it meant she hurt, but other people didn't. And I don't know, like I could go into far more details on sensory uh, processing issues that she had like she would spin forever to help ground her now we're like moving away from it but the speech part of it I just kind of knew I guess when you're a parent you're listening to your kid talk you can see that they're not pronouncing the words correctly so I don't know and it never changed like I, I real I don't know you just notice it <laughs> I don't know how to answer that I'm so sorry it wasn't anything that I just like had a reaction to finding out it was never like oh, what but the spd thing that one i did have a reaction to because i had no idea I, I knew something was different but it didn't have a name at the time and when i found the name and i did research and i realized what it was i was like i understand you and now i can help you but before that i was kind of lost and losing my mind and she was losing hers too 
how do you recommend growing your channel? Love your videos. I don't know. Honestly, I would say if you wanted to uh, have a channel, just be honest and authentic and be yourself. Don't be fake because people will pick up on it right away. Are you seeing anyone or looking? Cupcake adventures. No, right now, Zippo, <laughs> nothing. Does Bella ask what you and her dad aren't together? If she does, do you tell her the truth? Do you want more kids? Um, she's never asked why we're not together. I would tell her the truth if she ever wanted to know. I have, in fact, a whole notebook filled with reasons. It's basically a diary. So it will, if she ever needs, that would be something she would need to read when she was an adult. That is not anything a 10 year old or even any, no, she needs to be older in order to read that because that's very detailed. But yeah, if she asked me, I would be honest, but she's never asked me and I would make it age appropriate because she does not need details. I basically, <laughs> I really want her to form her own opinions on people and on situations. So I never try to lead her in a direction. I will guide her into being a good person, but I really want her to form her own opinions on things. Kids love their parents no matter what. Just because me and her dad aren't together has nothing to do with her and her relationship with her dad. So our relationship, her dad and I, and her relationship with me and her relationship with her dad, the three of them don't have anything, they don't have to have anything to do with each other. They can just be their own separate relationships. Do I want more kids? I don't know. I used to think that I did. I wouldn't be opposed to, you know, if I met somebody who had kids, then of course, but would I, I don't know. I don't think I want to birth any more children myself. Maybe adopt, but even that I'm thinking, I'm kind of good with Bella. NY asks, have Bella and you ever had fan encounters in public? I'm asking because I don't think a lot of your viewers live in Minnesota, at least I don't. Um, we don't live in Minnesota either. I think I answered that to you. Yeah, um, we don't live in Minnesota. We live in South Dakota and we actually have. We've had, actually, we've had encounters in Minnesota and South Dakota. Oh, you know what? Our first one was actually on Bella's school playground. Somebody had come up to us and asked us if we had a YouTube channel. And Bella had never mentioned anything, so that one kind of, we thought that was kind of cute. When you first started, did you have any idea how big your channel would get? And no, I didn't because I wasn't uploading the lunches for anybody to watch. So if you ever went back, and I've said this before, if you ever went back to the very beginning of all of our videos, um, you would see I uploaded those all on the same day. I uploaded, like, I don't know, a few, like maybe five or six. And then I didn't do anything for a long time. Long time, like a month or two. And then I'd come back and I saw that there was people watching. I think we had like 300 subscribers. And I was like, that is so many. So yeah, no, had no idea. No idea. At what age will you let Bella make her own lunches? She's already making her lunches every now and then and we've posted a few videos of her making her lunches. I'll link them in the iCard, whichever spot that the iCard's in. I'll link them up there if you wanna watch them. Does Bella have any thoughts on taking over the channel when she's old enough? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think she cares. A while back, you posted some videos about your weight loss journey. This is from Amber. Um, then stopped posting about it. Is there an update with that? <laughs> Yeah, there is. Um, what else? I only ask because I really enjoy these videos. I'm going through the weight loss. I'm going through the weight loss and find inspiration in others. Okay, so here's the story on that. Um, and I'm going to start again because I'm back on it. I'm actually going to uh, marry my brother and my friend. At least I'm going to try. I'm probably going to cry the whole time. So anyways, I want to lose weight myself. So the reason I quit was... When I filmed those videos, it, I would post them like two weeks, three weeks, sometimes even a month later. And so where I was a month later wasn't exactly where I was when I had filmed the videos. Anyway, basically I felt like a fraud. I felt like a fraud. I felt um, I had fallen off, you know, eating healthy. And then you just kind of get down on yourself and get mad at yourself. And you're your own worst critic, believe me. I am the meanest person 
to myself. When I would go to upload those videos, I would think, you are not even eating healthy. So why are you gonna post these videos and have everybody comment and say how great you're doing when you are doing horrible? You are not even doing it anymore. So that's why I quit doing it. AU teacher says, what is your biggest joy, your biggest surprise, your biggest headache with homeschooling? Oh, okay. Um, my biggest joy is seeing something that I didn't know I was capable of doing work. Like I did not know that I could actually teach her and her comprehend it. Uh, I don't know why I just doubted myself and I didn't think that it, it would, you know, you just doubt yourself. So that's my biggest joy. And the fact that we get to spend so much time together, I feel like that's super special. My biggest surprise is how long it actually takes and how many patients I actually have because sometimes I'm like can I just tell you the answer and you just have to bite your tongue and let her figure it out and then when she does the look on her face is so sweet and it, it's perfect I love it I see why teachers love their jobs your biggest headache is probably the eyesore of the cart itself I just it's, it just looks ugly. <laughs> so that would be my biggest headache. Um, and that's it with homeschooling. Okay, that was easy. Would you ever do a vlog channel? Why does every guy's picture have a fish in it? You do you, if you know a single man, will you give him my phone number? I wish I would have known you don't need to trust everybody. 